Hello, my name's Nick Sharrett. I'm a children's author and illustrator, and I'm also patron of the amazing Bourneville Book Fest. And I've got some really exciting news because in 2021, Bourneville Book Fest is back with an online programme we're calling Book Fest for Schools. It's happening during World Book Day week, which is from the 1st of March to the 5th of March, and is for children all over Birmingham and the West Midlands. Let me tell you about some of the people who are going to take part. We have got poetry from superstars Benjamin Zephaniah and Michael Rosen. There's going to be Cressida Cowell. We've got an event from the fabulously funny author-illustrator duo Stephen Butler and Stephen Lenton. Writer Tom Palmer is going to be coming to you from football stadiums. Storyteller John Edgar from the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust and Serena Patel, the author, are going to be doing events, as is the poet with punch and Johnny Duddle, who illustrates Harry Potter. So all sorts of incredible, fantastic things going on. Wonderful events to watch and be inspired by. I'm sure you will be inspired. I'm sure you'll be wanting to write your own poetry and create your own stories. And maybe you'll even want to illustrate your stories. I'm going to draw one of my own characters now to give you a few drawing tips which might come in handy. I'm going to draw a character from my Shark in the Park books, a man called Mr Pope, who is always good fun to draw. And you could draw along with me. Uh, I'm going to start off with his face. Now, here's my first tip. When you're drawing characters, you don't always have to draw them face on. It's really nice to vary that sometimes and draw somebody from the side. So I'm going to draw Mr. Pope from the side in profile. And I'm going to start off by drawing the shape of his face, his nose, his lips, his chin, then round to the back of his head, his ear, the top of his head, and then his eye, which is about the same level as the top of his ear. Then I'm going to give him a smiley mouth. And next, an eyebrow. Now, my second tip is think really carefully about eyebrows and how you want them to look, because slightly different angles can make a really huge difference to your character's expression and the feelings that they're conveying. Each of these eyebrows gives Mr. Pope a different sort of emotion, even though his smile is just the same. So we'll go for a nice happy eyebrow and then we'll draw his hair, which actually is my favourite bit of Mr Pope. He has a fantastic sort of 1950s quiff. So I'm going to colour that in. Now I'm going to give him a neck and a collar. And my next tip is how to draw collars. It's amazing how often I find myself having to draw characters in shirts. And the way I like to draw a collar is to draw two rectangles, uh, sort of diamond shapes like that, and then join them together with a little V for an open neck shirt. And if you want your shirt buttoned up, then just have the two diamond shapes touching each other. He's wearing a short sleeve shirt, so I just draw each of the sleeves and the rest of the shirt shape. Then I'm going to draw one arm, just going straight down. And another little tip, when you're drawing hands, um, it's, I find it really useful to draw the thumb first. So I'm going to draw the thumb, and then I'm going to draw four fingers at a different angle to the thumb to give a sort of a hand shape. So now I'm going to draw his other arm, which is at a different angle, and I'm going to draw him with his fingers closed, with a clenched fist, which I find a very useful way to draw a hand. So I draw the thumb first, which looks a bit like a hook shape, and then I draw a row of four fingers like that. And it really is a very useful way to draw a hand, because then you can have your character holding things. Um, I'll show you a bit later. We'll give Mr. Pope something to hold. So now I'm going to draw Mr. Pope's legs. And instead of them just going straight down like two tree trunks, I'm going to have a bit of variety and draw one leg crossed over the other leg like this. So I'm going to draw this leg bending round, put a shoe on the bottom of it pointing downwards. Then I'm going to draw the other leg going behind. And when I draw the shoe, I'm going to have it pointing towards the other foot. 
so that Mr Pope is standing in a slightly different pose for a change. So I'm going to draw Mr Pope's shoes now. I'm going to add quite a lot of detail, laces and soles. Another tip is when you're drawing clothes that uh, the more little details you put on, the more interesting your character will look. And now I'm going to give him something to hold in his clenched hand. So I'm going to add an ice cream, I think. And finally, another little tip uh, to stop your character looking like they're floating in the sky. Just add a little bit of shadow underneath them. So I'm just going to put a bit of shadow underneath Mr. Pope's feet. And he looks like he's standing on the ground now. I'm going to colour him in and put a pattern on that shirt to add even more interest. So there's Mr Pope. Perhaps some of those tips might come in handy when you're creating your own characters. Bookfest for schools. It's going to be brilliant.